What's going on, FM fam? It's your boy. Today is a little bit of a special day. I have a company that sent me out some stuff. If y'all see the title of the video, y'all already know who it is. Top Don. Y'all saw last time they did send us out a jump box and it was able to jump start my K1500 uh, Silverado extended cab 5.7 liter with 4L60E, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it was able to jump start it not once, not twice, not three times, but multiple times straight out the box with about 50% of battery. Now, something to go along with that is a battery tester. So we got this battery tester. I tested the, the accuracy a little, a couple times uh, with our manufacturer uh, tester and it's, it's about on point and about 100% times quicker. So let's go check it out. And before we move on with actually hooking this up and putting it on a vehicle and testing a couple batteries, I did forget to mention that uh, this is the Top Don BT100 battery tw tester, 12 volt. And again, this does a uh, battery test, charging test, and starting test, I believe. But we'll run through it on a couple vehicles and uh, give you all a rundown of this. Just to get you a quick scan and quick uh, bottom line of where the battery that you're working on or the vehicle that you're working on where the battery sits as far as life and um, uh, charging system so if you want to do charging systems or battery tests get a quick upsell or just see the condition of the battery without having to go get the uh, shop tool the shop uh, battery tester which looks like this big thing right here if you're familiar with uh, being a dealer technician then I'm pretty sure y'all all, all know about these Techmate Medtronics uh, 5000 right dss 5000 oh no this is the c px 900 this takes super long and it always tells you to charge and retest when we could just simply use this real quick especially if it's not warranty so i've already got this thing unboxed we don't need no instructions okay no instructions needed it does come with a manual the only thing i wish this thing did come with was a little um carrying case but we could we could work our way around this now this is going to be for used car techs, um, aftermarket or independent technicians, you dealer techs. I mean, if you want to test batteries real quick, it's up to you. Uh, not so much DIY because I mean, you can DIY if you want to spend the money. Uh, these are not very expensive. I will put a screenshot of how much it is going for at the time. And if we have a code, it'll be down below along with the link to actually purchase this. Without the code, without a link or whatever, it is fairly cheap, less than $60. And uh, I'm pretty sure it will pay itself off. And I dropped it down there. So very simple to use, you just hook it up. And this thing automatically turns on. So y'all see right there. Oh, so y'all see right there, top on, fired up. Let me turn the light off so we don't get no glare. You hit enter, it's showing the, the live voltage right now. Battery test, uh, regular flooded, CCAs, we're gonna hit enter to enter those in. And it's showing 525 CCA. So 525, oh, why am I going up? So we're gonna go to 525. By 25 cca hit enter and it's testing the battery now it'll show me good charge or bad so we're going to see what this says and it is fairly quick guys fairly fairly quick it says good battery healthy 100 percent with 527 cold cranking amps charge is 92 percent at 12.55 internal reserve i'm guessing or resistance 5.69 mega ohms okay and it's rated for 525 now we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do a, oh, cranking test. Enter, start engine. So I had to get some help to start the engine. Hopefully he could get it in enough time. RPM detected, look at that. So it's testing it. Look at that, voltage dropped to 10.09. 
which is normal time it took don't worry about that time because it, it did take us a little bit to get somebody to help uh, charging test start engine press enter ripple test 11 millivolts on the ripple loading testing loaded testing loaded testing oh turn up increase rpm 2500 rpm we're gonna hit enter testing testing charging low oh no that's not good hit enter hold on idle we're gonna do that one more time hit enter ripple test this is unloaded we didn't load it last time load testing turn the lights on in ac now do it 2500 testing 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 charging low oh all right you're good so what that means is this vehicle may need an alternator now this does have smart charge so that might not be a good indicator because of them but loading the system should turn smart charge off that charging should have been up around 14 volts at least 13 5 to 14 volts so it is showing charge low now fluff are you sure that this thing does just doesn't uh pass every battery well that's why we're going to test another one this one apparently needs to be replaced we know it needs to be replaced because that's what it came in for and with the manufacturer um tester said it needed to be replaced so i know for sure it needs to be replaced again but obviously we're going to see what top down says about this one so just like the other one gonna hook this up put that up fires up Let me switch my hands and this one shows at 12.4 battery test regular flooded i'm gonna do cold cranking amps and this one's gonna be 640 so bump it up to 640 I don't understand how this little machine works, but it does. So it's gonna test. It's actually pretty damn quick. Testing, testing, replace. Look at that. Health, 27% at 331 co-cranking amps. Charge is at 67% at 12.4. Internal resistance, 9.06 mega ohms, and it's rated for 640. You can see down here it does light up bad if it needs to be charged it'll say charge and if it was good it says good like the other one did so this right here um quick little tester now if you're a dealer tech and you have to deal with warranty of some sort this is not really gonna work but to do quick checks and not have to chase down a battery tester uh it does it works and i think it'll work out just fine longevity of this i have no idea uh, but like I said, there will be some links down below. You will be able to purchase this. And again, I'll have a link down below, an affiliate link and possibly coupons or discount codes. So, so not only did we show a good battery, we showed a bad battery and possibly <laughs> the vehicle in there does need an alternator. Uh, too bad homeboy's not on the phone or too bad he is on the phone. Cause then i'd get him out here we'd probably have to jump start this vehicle to get an alternator test uh but i would love to see i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna mess around with this thing as we go i'll have more shorts and i'll have more uh videos showing um but yeah as far as this video is concerned i think we're about done uh that thing is definitely going in the in the toolbox it is going to get used every day so i could test every single battery uh because there's times where i just pick and choose which one i'm gonna test and which one i'm not because having to chase down a tester or getting those charge and retest type deals and uh it's a pain in the butt and then come to find out i do a transmission or i do a lengthy amount of work where the vehicle sits for a couple days and then i go to start it and click click fuck well this one 10 seconds out of my day i can show the customer on a multi-point review or a multi-point uh video 
and get my picture get my video for the customer and upsell the battery and if it does show replace well then i'll just go get the uh the manufacturer software the tech mate medtronics whatever the hell you want to call it um and upsell it like that because we do have to have warranty printouts but if you're a dealer tech that's what you got to do if you're independent or diy or mobile this is a good go-to very good go-to i'm gonna stand by this for now if not then i'll let y'all know in another video but as far as that again links down below to multiple things that i'm doing on the channel and we will catch y'all you know later. what before Deuce. we close this video out let's get a battery report on the equinox let's get it guys let's uh oh i need my key all right i got my uh got it on my hip my key fob pop the truck or the hood come around guys look at that all this highway driving got a dent there damn cats in the neighborhood i know i have a rowdy dent somewhere else i can't find it but uh anyways can i pop this huh. 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 all right there we go come right on over here i think that's the negatory and we got the depository i mean the positive right there why does this little thing keep falling in weird places oh snaps got it stuck Ugh. there we go good thing i haven't peeled the plastic off so what do we got enter battery test enter uh i think this is an agm sure is wait flat plate spiral i don't even know what the output on this is well, let me go get a 10 so i can check this out uh, i don't know this, this cover still covering it so we're just gonna call it a uh agm flat plate see what it tells me and then we're gonna go i think this is a 740 i want to say it's a 740 but it'll tell me that my cold cranking apps no matter what so we're testing and i better get a gooder because yeah 785 cold cranking amps rated at 740 i got an internal resistance of 300 or 3.5 I don't know if that's a mega ohms or milli ohms whatever it is i am charging at 12.6 actually i'm charged at 12.6 and i got 100 percent charge so there it is guys again this freaking little tester is a okay quick little check quick little um if you will how do we call it baseline okay this is a quick baseline check for batteries if you're used car dealer independent and if you're just a DIY at home, well then why not? Helps you uh, test your battery before going and fighting with AutoZone and O'Reilly's and Walmart. And be like, nah, hold up, I tested it myself and we got a failed battery. So like, comment, share, subscribe, check these out, or check these out right here. Subscribe up there, links in the description below. Every screen, I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy, all I got is working. Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm